What makes a relationship last as long as possible and be as, I would say, as, uh, you know, as smooth and uh, less trouble as possible? Uh, from the point of a man, what should a man be doing to make sure that the relationship lasts a long time and runs as smooth as possible? I guess that's the point I'm trying to make here. But before we kick it off, I'm Dave and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS novel dating advice for men. Top link in the description to check out the website. Uh, you can have a look behind me. I'm in, you can see that harbour bridge behind me. I am in Sydney, Australia. This is relationship advice from the point of a man, point of view of a man and what a man should be doing in order to try to keep a relationship running as smoothly as possible. And really there's, there's, there's mainly two things that I'd like to point out. A lot of people talk about communication but they don't talk about the other aspect of that. Uh, but to start with, communication. Uh, I think communicating to her how you are feeling as much as possible uh, without showing weakness. Now, uh, letting her know what you think about what's happening in the relationship, her behavior, where the relationship's going, what you think about what's happening, and uh, keeping her up to date with what is going on because uh, although women are known to be social creatures, and be more socially aware than us, they can't read your mind. Now, if you give her too much silent treatment and you just go off and do, do your own thing too much, she's got, not gonna know what's going on. And women are, they're great at doing, making assumptions and making bad decisions based off bad assumptions. Uh, this is what they do. Uh, and this destroys relationships quite often. You might be showing her that you're looking for just like one night stands and you've been dating her for six months. You might let her know that with your actions that you're not really serious about her. Uh, even though you think that you are showing her that you're serious with her, you might even be living with her. But women are great at making bad assumptions and making bad decisions based off those bad assumptions that ruin relationships. And it's your job to communicate to her at all times uh, how you're feeling about the relationship, where it's going, and kind of taking the lead, uh, letting her know where you think the relationship's going and where you want the relationship to go, and how you think the relationship is going and what problems are happening and how she can fix them. Now, obviously, if she's a nightmare and you tell her that these you give her a list of problems with the relationship and she just complains and says that everything's your fault then see you later bitch she's not worth your time uh, but on the other side of things if you are if you aren't communicating and she makes bad decisions and bad assumptions and then makes action takes action based on that then see you later as well so you are you are making taking risks uh, by letting her know your feelings and what you communicating, having open communication with the, about the relationship with her. The other aspect of that I'd like to say is that uh, you should never really be showing weakness because uh, women often, before they have pair bonded with you entirely, and that's really where this, uh, the type of people who'll be searching this, type of people that'll be watching this, type of men that'll be watching this, uh, you're, you're at a point where she hasn't pair bonded with you it's not all set up and you're not you're not you're not locked into a serious relationship you're kind of dating you're kind of trying to feel your way around things once she's pair bonded and everything's sorted then you wouldn't be watching this type of video anyway but in that in that period beforehand you need to have open communication and that comes with the risk of her not uh, taking action or being, uh, I guess, trying to work with you to keep the relationship going. Uh, she could be a bit of a nightmare and that's a, that's a great red, red flag and a great warning sign for you and it's time to make sure you don't marry her because if she's not willing to put in the time and effort and work 
towards building a proper relationship with you then see you later and that's when you go to the top link in the description and check out my website and learn cold approach uh, cold approach is when you walk around out in Sydney like this and you see a cutie somewhere and you go over and approach her and you date her from cold approach uh, that's what I coach the other aspect of this that I'd like to quickly quickly talk about uh, with all these kids screaming in the background uh, is she might give you some sort of a silent treatment at some stage she might ignore you you might ask her is everything okay and she might be clearly not okay and not tell you what's happening she might be angry at you for whatever reason I would say that if you start to pussyfoot around her tiptoe around her like your your uh, you're walking on eggshells and uh, constantly be at the whims of her irrational emotions she will start to use that against you and start to abuse that so you ask her once is everything okay she gives you the silent treatment then take it like that and ignore it but then what you do is you tell her what you are feeling and what you are thinking and then leave it at that as well but never delve into weakness and tell her that you're sad and you feel upset because she seems like she's upset and making you feel like you're uh, 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 insecure within the relationship because then you come across like a bit of a bitch and she will use that to exploit you because depends on what type of woman she is she might be a good girl that doesn't exploit that she might want to comfort you but I would say the majority of women will exploit you under those circumstances. Uh, if you find a girl that uh, will not exploit you, then you've found yourself a gold mine and lock her in. But a large percentage of them will abuse that power and manipulate you because that's kind of the female imperative. Uh, manipulation and uh, social power. So don't don't fall into those problems make sure that you're open with your communication if she doesn't want to work to solve any issues with the relationship uh, get rid of her uh, and if she's giving you the silent treatment having some problems um, and she won't tell you what those problems are pretend that they don't exist and ignore them and they will go away I promise you don't become that simp that's constantly treading on eggshells around her so hopefully that makes sense and uh, if she's not willing to fix the relationship, go to the top link in the description, sign up and do some cold approach pickup and find yourself a better one with me. I promise you, unless you are a 1 out of 10 monster, you are extremely overweight and you, you're like the elephant man, contact me. We'll be able to find you a girlfriend. See you guys in the next video.